we're doing five by five on the bench. It's my staple starting exercise. So on my leg day, we do a five by five squat or a five by five deadlift. Shoulder days, five by five overhead press. You get the, you get the point. Five by five is a really good part of German volume training. It's focused on hypertrophy and strength, but the five rep range is a really good and safe area where you can build strength without um, risking injury and without having to focus on making sure that you're that you have a spotter and everything like that so that's why I really like doing five by five just to give you guys a little bit of background when I I'm 27 years old when I was 17 16 17 years old I started powerlifting the first area that I competed in was powerlifting and there's a few things that you need to know about bench press when it comes to technique. It comes down to, it really comes down to really good strict technique, breathing, understanding how to breathe and understanding how to, how to prepare yourself for, especially for one rep max. One rep max is very, very technical. If you wanna get really good with your one rep max, your breathing and your technique, your, your inhale has to be perfect, where you spot has to be perfect, um, your lats have to be perfect in order to, uh, maximize your potential because it can make a difference between it can make a five to ten pound difference with your one rep max if your technique is off depending on what federation you're competing in, if there's some federations where they force you to have your feet flat and other federations where it's okay to be to be on your toes so the way that I like to do it this is this is for power bench only is I start behind the bar and put my feet in here this allows me to create tightness and create my arch in my lower back. So what I'll do is start from behind the bench. I slide out like this, stretch my lower back, and then I settle in here. And so we have a perfect arch here, and my feet are kind of tense. And what we do is we retract our shoulder blades, okay? We never wanna lose our shoulder blade tightness by allowing them to roll forward. So we always retract our shoulder blades, and the movement should be here elbow extension without ever moving our shoulder blades forward now once you start to get into those low rep ranges of three two one you want to always have a lift off so with my lift off i'll let them know i'm like hey three two one i breathe in once on rack and then i breathe in again That's essentially um, a brief introduction to how you do a good power bench. Make sure that you warm up properly and don't rush. Don't rush your warm up. Don't throw on 225 as your first set. Really, really bad idea because your central nervous system needs to be primed. If you're not a competitive power lifter, you need to have a proper warm up to synchronize your central nervous system and to get your body used to that really explosive movement. The way that I would warm up is my first set would be, I did 95, then I did 135, 185, this is 225. I only do a couple of reps, but I'm just practicing my technique, my setup, my breathe in, the slow stretching of the contraction and explosion up. I'm just practicing that motion to get it perfect. If you wanna really be good at something, you gotta do it repetitively before you even get to heavy weight you want to get that motion to be down pat because one of the things that happens with guys is that once they start going heavy their form really breaks down early and you don't want your form to break down almost at all you don't want any form breakdown if you fail you want to fail while maintaining perfect form this is to avoid injury and to be as efficient as possible with your motion with your movement so that you don't waste energy and so that you don't get hurt. So that's why I always emphasize, properly warm up, start light. You should always start with the bar first, just to get the motion down and then incrementally, you don't have to do a lot of reps, but incrementally load the bar and spend three to four sets just warming up before you start going heavy. Three, two, one. Yep, get up, get up. Yep. Thank you, appreciate it.
I'm gonna go without a spotter. Last set I had a spotter and um, felt pretty good. But 265, like I could do, I could have done maybe two more reps. So, I'm gonna try this without a spotter. Just for this. This is only set number two, but set three, four, five, I'm gonna move up to 75, so we'll use the spotter for that. One. Maybe I'm gonna stick at 265. <laughs> I'll give you a countdown from three. Five. Shouldn't be a problem, but I, I just want you there just for safety in case something bad happens. Yeah, anything else you can dump bench nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Thank you very much. Well, if I die, I die. I'm gonna hit a spot the next set. Three, two, one. Thank you. As you guys saw, we just completed all five sets of five. And that's the marker that lets you know that, hey, I'm ready to move up in weight. So next week, I'm going to do 270, at least 270, maybe even 275, but probably 270. So I'm expecting to do 270 for at least three sets of five and probably two sets of four. That's just if all other markers are good, if my rest and my nutrition is on point. Uh, if all things considered are consistent. Um, but say I do 270 for only three reps for all five sets. So I need to stay there at 270 for the next couple of weeks until I can complete all five sets for five reps. So we're gonna move on and we're actually gonna start doing some more high volume exercises. My frequency is much higher throughout the week, but my daily volume is less for each muscle. So I might do two delt exercises, but if I do delts, if I do that three times a week, I end up doing six delt exercises for the week, which is a, pr which is a really good amount of volume. But as a natural, a lifetime natural, frequency, higher frequency is more beneficial. It's been scientifically proven that training body part two to three times a week is more beneficial for natural guys. No judgment on you that if you, um, or if you're an enhanced athlete, you know, you can obviously do a lot more volume and you can, you know, you don't have to do two to three times a week. You can spend 50 sets, 60 sets on chest on Mondays and you'll recover without a problem. But for advanced lifters and for natural guys, you want to be doing more frequency and less volume each day. So we're doing a superset of lat pull down with some, some cable flies. I'm doing five sets of a 15 period. So 15, 12, 10, 8, 6. So we already did one set. So this set will be for 12.
Let's see. exhausting that was 12 minutes superset so we did obviously lap pull down for five sets and then kibble flies for five sets water much too low I'm doing uh, five by eight here slow negatives on this rep so we're spending about three to five seconds on the slow on the negative phase just failed at six reps on that last set and that was only my third set so because I'm trying to get five sets for eight I'm gonna move down a weight to 60 pounds because the, the focus of this set is getting quality reps good technique and completing the set so if I can't complete the set with great technique I will lose weight there's no purpose in sacrificing form and sacrificing the actual set itself just to, just to you know stroke your ego so we're going from 70 to 60 on this next set workouts at you know an hour 15 to an hour and a half sometimes if it's like a big long heavy day then sure I'll go past an hour and a half but for the most part try to keep it you know under 90 minutes that's just a general recommendation it's not like you have to be religiously strict with that but you try to keep it in that range you know we don't want to go we don't want to be in here for two and a half hours every night it's not a good approach if you're a natural Seven. 
as you guys have noticed, I'm definitely leaving a few reps in the tank. Um, those last two sets you know, could have done a couple more reps, but we're, a little, we're being a little bit more conservative with our reps for the purpose of duration. You know, we don't want to start to get closer to failure towards the end of workout. So this next set, you know, I'm going to bust out a couple more than normal. failure first exercise or second exercise second set you want to be hitting failure second to last set last set of the exercise especially when you're doing high volume because today it's going to be about 37 sets and 37 sets is a little bit higher volume than most you know than most people usually beginner to intermediate lifters stick in that 25 to 30 set range so today's is quite a bit of volume that's why i'm leaving a little bit in the tank so we've got two more exercises we're going to do machine shoulder press and rope tricep push down now i'm getting tired so we did eight reps there and then ten so hopefully it helps us so you guys can see i track that number right there at the bottom says 37. And you can see this is what today's program was. Started with barbell bench press for 5x5, five five, then we moved into cable fly, a superset with lat pull down, both five sets, so that's 15 sets already within the first three exercises. And then we moved to incline dumbbell press. After that, we did dumbbell lateral raises for five sets. And we just finished up cable easy bar curls for five sets of 15 again. And the last two exercises are gonna be machine shoulder press and rope tricep push down. So that's gonna conclude. So we got a couple more sets set. Good quality reps. We're not sacrificing form. Only eleven. So we're, we're right on track with where we want to be in terms of fatigue. Where I couldn't get twelve reps on that second set. So we're right on track. Let's see if we can do ten. a whole change of clothes because we're going to be playing volleyball which means I'm gonna get sweaty we're probably having a campfire today so I brought some long sleeve stuff because mosquitoes love me they love me a little bit too much <laughs> Zenobi get some clothes on <laughs>
Hey, get some clothes on. <laughs> Silly boy. Hello. Hell yeah. You're on today's vlog. Come give me a hug! Alright, yo, we need to spell him like this. Hey, hey, do you have some time today to trim up the new goat? I got it. I made. Like this, Reduce the size by 20%. Yeah. Like, so I think I like this. I and, like, and I switched, the other I switched sides. So like, I have to compare whether I want it on this side or this yeah. side. Because I have to like, I think I want to keep consistent across all of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of these shorts should be consistent across the board. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you get, if you get, can you get a black, a black set or a white one? I think the other ones you wore were navy. They have the Thank you. Thank you. You too.